1968, 3AW radio announcer, chief personality and football commentator Norman Banks headed to America. Norman was accompanied by Bill Jacobs, who was a station personality in his own right, especially as he had been calling football with Norman for the last three years. A certain highlight of their trip to the USA was meeting Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. A great but rarely told story is the story of a photograph taken of Norman, Bill and Elvis. Here's the story as told by the late Bill Jacobs himself. We, had a, we met Elvis Presley by chance. Uh, we were interviewing a chap named Harry Freed uh, at MGM Studios. This was in December 1968, or Norman was interviewing him. Uh, Harry Freed wrote many of Judy Garland's songs. Excuse me interrupting, that would have been Arthur Freed. Arthur Freed, sorry. I'm glad you mentioned that because I've been calling him Harry for years. Anyhow, uh, we were told that uh, we were welcome to go on the set and watch the, uh, the shooting of the final scenes before Christmas, and that's where we met Elvis Presley. And uh, the photo was taken with a chap named Welsh, who was the director of the film. It was called Chautauqua. And uh, the shot of the four of us was taken. And Norman told me to send it back to the listener in, instructed me to send it back to the listener in. And he said, and cut yourself from the end of the photo. And so it was that Norman Banks's photo appeared in the listener in newspaper with Elvis Presley, but not Bill. As a footnote to the story, on the day the photo was taken, a giant stuffed koala was presented to Elvis to pass on to his daughter Lisa Marie from his Australian fan club. Photos were taken of Elvis with the koala. Elvis signed one and sent it back to the fan club. In 1971, the same photograph was used by record company RCA as the cover of the Australian release of Elvis's hit, Teddy Bear. If you have a copy of that record, you may be pleased to know that it currently fetches up to $100 on eBay.